for Thursday. Thursday again. Do, do, do. Hopefully a few people will log on. I do have to get better at promoting these <laughs> before they're actually here. I normally remember at like midnight on Wednesday and I'm like, oh, just a Nearly at the weekend again. Few more seconds. Last one. 
Lost Phoebe. Watch that. And we're going to open up the hips. Just bring the leg up and out to the side. Up and back in. Up and out to the side. Up and back in. That's it. Good. So with all these movements, you might hear some clicks and cracks and pops. As long as it doesn't hurt, it's absolutely fine. It's normal. But if it is causing you a, a, a high degree of discomfort, either reduce your range of motion or stop doing that movement. Come back to it, try it again, and if it's still making you, know, making you hurt, then if you can, I know it's easy to done trying to talk to a medical professional. Next up, we have heel flicks. Again, you can step these through. Oh, let's just do a quick bounce from one to the other. Soft on the knees. I don't know about you, but I definitely could feel Monday's workout. I had some other ones in between, but yes, my thighs have not been my friend since then. Here you go. The dogs were real. I don't get them very often. It felt good to have a few more seconds. But at rest, feet hip width. We're going to step out into a lunge and rotate over that front leg and push back. Step out into a lunge, rotate and push back. That's it, good. Keep breathing. Keep going. Few more seconds. Almost there. And next we have squat, and we're going to reach up. So with your squat, again, feet shoulder width, turn your toes in, flick the bum back, come back into your squat, and then reach up overhead, come back into your squat. And reach up over there. It doesn't have to be a deep squat, just a little one. And reach up. A few more seconds. Almost there. Last few. And finally, 30 seconds for jumping jacks. Again, you can step them if you need to, you can just step. Your foot out, nice jump in there. Knees out, knees in. Feet walk forward. A few more seconds. And rest that there. Have a drink, keep moving, and I'll let you know what the first five exercises are. So first one, feet, shoulder width, arms up, and we're punching side to side. So as you punch across, you can lift and twist and punch. Then we are doing a squat to a reverse lunge, back to a squat, back to a reverse lunge. Then we've got High knee, high knee kick. So you bring your leg up for high knee, and then you bring it up for high knee kick. High knee, high knee kick. So we've got two movements on the one leg each time. Then we're on our mat, for knees in and out, but with, with a twist from side to side. So bring your knees in, as you take them out, you twist. Twist to the side. If that's too much, keep your legs in and just focus on the Russian twist, or if you want to, you can just focus on the knees in and out, but if you can take them out, twist, 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 and just take it slowly. And then the final one, we've got a knee to elbow, hand to foot, knee to elbow, hand to foot. Oh, my balance is off today. <sighs> right, so first, so we'll do 40 seconds on each, and we're going to go through the circuit three times. So. First, 40 seconds, side to side punches, and off we go. So punching it across, punch it across, keep going. Honestly, since I opened my door, someone starts drilling and soaring. Twist, twist the foot as you bring the arm across. Twist, 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 really punch. 
punch it out. Keep going. A few more seconds. Always fast. Then we're into our squat to reverse lunge. Last few. Five seconds until interval two. Get ready and squat. So down into a squat, come up, your foot might straighten. Come back into a reverse lunge, come back to a squat. My poor legs are still going, why are you doing this to me? What did I do wrong? Keep going, a few more seconds. Almost there. Five seconds until interval three. Keep going. And next we've got high knee, high knee kick, high knee, high knee kick. If it is too much, take the kick a bit lower. I'll stay on the same leg, so two movements. You've got your high knee and a high knee kick. High knee, high knee kick. Keep going. That's it, dip. Now we're down on the floor for the next one. Knee sit, knees in and out with a twist. I had to say I read it to me, I was like, what's what am I talking about? And then I got to it. I remember to do it. Keep it up. And we're down on the floor. Keep it nice and controlled. So as you take your knee out, twist to the side, bring your knees in, twist to the side. Really engaging those core muscles. And the balance. And keep breathing. Ten seconds. Five seconds until interval five. Interval five and for forty seconds. Arm up. Knee to elbow. Hands up. Keep going. Woo! That's it. So if you get the arm nice and high, perhaps with the crunch over if you can't touch your foot, just reach to your shin, reach to your knee, whatever works for you. But as you come up, you get a nice crunch. A few more seconds. And back to the cross body, punch this side to side. Five seconds until the middle one. Off we go. Punch it across. Whew. So you get a chance to catch your breath. If at any point you need to stop for a drink, please do. No problem at all. Much better stay hydrated. Feeling good. Through your whole workout. If that means taking a rest at some point, then it means taking a rest. Next we've got our squat, the reverse lunge, and get ready, off we go, into the squat, come up, take it back, come back, squat, take it back, come back, squat, that's it, good. Good work, keep going. Five seconds until interval three. And then we are. Oh, I mean, when you kiss. Kick it. Oh, I'm feeling that in my thighs, from the back of my thighs, and the inside. From one day. Twist in. Twist in. So, so if this gets 
too intense. Put your heels down. Focus on the Russian twist. Or if it's too many movements in one go, you can focus on the in and out. Few more seconds. Five seconds until interval five. And up we come. Interval five for and 40 bottom seconds. Knees to elbow, hands to foot. Ten seconds. Five seconds until interval five. And up we come. Interval five for forty seconds. Knee to elbow. And to five. Whew. That's it. Good. Keep going, guys. Doing that. Almost there. Keep breathing. Last few seconds. Bicep doing the work. 
Next, we have a squat floor touch, then with a calf raise. Then squat floor touch. If you can't touch the floor, don't worry. Calf raise. We just reach down. Then we're on TikToks. Then we get to lie down on the mat. Back into floor, arms and legs up. And we're doing the dead bug. If you want to, you can bend your knees at 90 degrees. Or if it's too much an issue, do one leg, one leg, one arm, one arm. And then gradually try and include a little bit so you can have them up in the air. And then the final one are crazy eight burpees. They're not as bad as they sound. So one movement, one is down, two is out, three is push down, four is push up, uh, five, six, seven, and eight. I think I did it in the wrong order. So I'm doing it. Come down, jump out, jump out, jump in, then the press up, and then in and up. But it doesn't really matter. You have a press up on the jack, hops it around, it's still moving. So, catch your breath. Five seconds. And we're going to start with the bicep extensions. Workout complete. Ooh. Shut the door for a second. Right, let's get ready. Arms up. Interval number 40 so seconds. We Keeping the elbow in line with the shoulders. Keep breathing. Take it out and back in. And I'm back in. Don't let those elbows drop. Let the biceps do their work. Twist the hands out, twist them back in, touch the shoulders. Keep going. Last few seconds. If you had some light weights, you can always use them as well. But we'll go too heavy. A few more seconds. Five seconds until interval two. And off we go. So squat down and come, reach up, up into a calf raise. Touch down, come up, reach up into a calf raise. If you can't touch the floor, don't worry. Just squat to where you can. Then come up, reach up. Keep going. Almost there. Keep breathing. And then we're on to TikToks next. A few more seconds. Five seconds until interval three. Almost there. Interval three for and 40 TikTok. seconds. So just bouncing from side to side. Your soft knees. Go. Then we get to lie down for a bit on the next one. Into the dead bug. So take it nice and gentle on this one. If it gets too intense, just step it out. I quite like the TikTok. A few more seconds. Last few. Five seconds until interval four. Palms up, out we go. 
go. Catch your breath. If you do need a rest, please take one. Have a drink of water if you need it. Been a minute here. A weird. A few more seconds. Next round to our squat. Five seconds until it's Four touch half right. And uh, off you go. Slightly more drink of water. That's my shed. Down we go. Come down and reach up. Come down and reach up. Keep going. Nice and controlled. Squat down and reach up. Whew. So we've got our TikToks next and then dead bug. More crazy eggs.
Five seconds until interval four. Interval four and for three seconds. Max. And off we go. Yay, and did the opposite one to what I've started with before. <laughs> so, you know, alternate which arm and leg you start with again. It's good for the brain and it stops our dominance by being more dominant. And strengthen up the, I don't want to call it weaker, less dominant side. Keep breathing. If you need to bend your knees, please do. Five seconds until interval five. Oh. And then we're up. Interval five for the Here we go. This is it now. Last few seconds. And let one leg drop down. We're going to raise the other leg into the air. We're stretching out the back of the thigh, the hamstring. So don't worry if your leg's not too straight. A lot of us have tight hamstrings, but just get as straight as you can. If you have a resistance band or a yoga strap or even a towel or another pair of joggers, just help put it around the top of your foot and you can help pull it back. So you get a nice stretch in there. When you feel the stretch ease up, you go. And then just put it back a bit further, ignore him. A few more seconds. Without complete. You can flex and extend your foot as well. And switch sides. So we're holding each of these stretches for 30 seconds. If you can hold them for longer, great. 30 seconds minimum. And do at least six stretches to hit you know, the main body parts that you've worked out. It will really help reduce the risk of injury and uh, potentially reduce your DOMS, so, which is your delayed onset muscle soreness. And let that rest. Bring one ankle onto the opposite knee and bring it towards you. Nice deep breath. Nice deep breaths, keep going. And switch sides. Keep 
watch the back up, push up through the shoulder blades, and breathe out. So your knees are under your hips, your wrists are under your shoulders, breathe in. together, take the knees out slightly wider, sit back on the heels and come forward with the arms. If you can keep your bum on your heels and get your forehead to the floor, fantastic. If not, keep your bum on your heels and just stretch your arms out to the magic wire for keeping the, your backside down, your arms pulling away. Get a nice stretch into the upper back and shoulders. A few more seconds. Nice deep breath. down, sit up nice and straight, let gravity do its thing, stretch into the hips, a few more seconds. Come up slowly, roll through your spine. We're going to come over to the wall. Just remember to see. We're going to stretch out the back, back of the calves. So feet hip width apart, put one ball of the foot to the wall, then push up with that back foot. Feet hip width apart. Everything, everything facing forward, including that back foot. Make sure it's not twisting over. Everything facing forward. And if you use the wall, to hold on to and pull yourself up right. And nice deep breaths. Oh, almost there. A few more seconds. Give me the next stretch at the same time. And switch sides. Push up. Make sure everything's facing forward. Pull your shoulder one, come back up, drop the other way. Nice and gentle. Deep breathing. A few more seconds. Jump on between shoulder blades. 
Pause for the timer. Chin up to the chest, head up, we're just stretching out the triceps. And bring one arm across the body. We're just going to stretch out those shoulders, hook it over, pull it across. Let's bird tweet in the way out there. Pull, pulling the shoulders down from the ear. Ah, everything should be feeling back to normal. Breathing should feel a bit more normal again. Heart rate should be feeling more normal again. Last few seconds. Keep feeling almost there. And switch sides. few seconds. Almost there. Well done guys. There you go. You've done it. Shoulders back, shoulders forward. Whatever you did, whatever you managed, whatever worked for you. Fantastic. I hope you enjoyed it. Please do let me know in the comments, you know, what you'd like to see more of. Um, uh, I will be back on Monday at 8am. All, all being well, I've got my first uh, Covid jab tonight, so hopefully by Monday I should be fine. Actually, I'll be fine anyway, but just in case. That's why I didn't book it for any earlier, so I wouldn't miss the live today, because I could have picked Tuesday or Wednesday, and I thought, no, nope, do the live, I'll have it Thursday. Um, and then it gives time, so I don't miss out. So let me know what you liked. Please share, please let people know about these free workouts, even if they can't come on. Oh, thank you. You'll never guess where they're from, Heather. Cuckoo bird. <laughs> I've even bought some now that look like jeans so that I can still wear leggings all the time. Um, but yes, yeah, so yeah, I'll be back on Monday, 8 a.m. Um, please let people know, even if they can't make the, the live, the replays are always there. I will get back to putting them on YouTube. I haven't been very good at the minute, but I, knew I will upload some more. And if you want quick access to them, if you go to becomefitforlife.com, uh, some weight training and upper body more. Okay, yes, I... The reason I've always stayed away sort of from the upper body sort of weight training side of things is knowing not a lot of people generally have equipment at home, but I have started including some. There is a kettlebell workout that I did the other week and I think I have something. I can have a look actually. Let me tell you what I'm doing on Monday. We will find out what Jeremy has planned for Monday. We've got um, resistance band. If anyone has any resistance bands. So we'll be doing a resistance band workout on Monday. So if you have resistance bands, Please have them with you. They can be the looped ones or they can be the long ones, just you might need to tie a knot in them. Um, or as my Pilates instructor pointed out, if you use one of the sandwich clips, it's quite useful. Um, but yes, we'll be using resistance bands, but you could use, for some of these, you can definitely use dumbbells or you can still do them body weight. But yes, I will be adding more of that in. So no worries, Chanel. Yes, definitely. Um, but yes, please let people know just that they're there and there is a quick link to them now on my website. So becomefitforlife.com. You'll find it under my services page. So anyway, without further ado, I'll let you get on with your day. Yay, fantastic, yay. Oh, God, I'm excited now. I'm excited for Monday. I love resistance bands. I'm glad I planned that one a month ago. <laughs> Who knows what? I come across and they're a surprise to me too. So anyway, have a lovely day, guys, and I will see you Monday. Bye.